Hello everyone, we will continue the topic SAP ABAP new syntax and we are covering the value expression as a replacement of append. So, so far what we did, we understood what is value expression, what are the various types of value expression. Firstly, we did the practical of append. Then in the last video, we did the practical of value expression or value keyword or value operator by using the or by first type. In the first type, you need to use the value operator or value keyword or value expression with structure type or table type. You need to create structure type or table type. And most important point, if you are using structure type with value keyword, you can only go for single record. If you want to go for multiple records, you need to use the table type. Now, people sometimes do not prefer this. They do not want to go for table type, structure type. They will prefer simply, simply the hash. And it is easiest also, most easy. Just the only thing is we need to make system understand that we are going for internal table of these columns. It means we just need to explicitly declare the internal table and we can use the hash with the value keyword. Important point from the interview perspective and people maximum time avoid structure type, table type, because they will confuse also. We are using structure type, single record. We are using table type, multiple record. So it's better to use hash. But remember, in case of hash, SAP will not understand the type automatically. We need to tell SAP that we are going to insert data to this internal table. Suppose we'll go for practical. Suppose I'm commenting this. Now I will go for simple. Suppose I'm going for this internal table. I'm going for this. I will copy this. Now I will paste this. I will uncomment this line. Now we are appending the three records to the internal table using value keyword or value operator or value expression and we are using hash. Now people will say it is perfectly fine because we did the inline declaration. We simply use value keyword. We will simply use hash with value keyword and we pass the three records to the internal table. Just see, previously you use the structure type. So SAP understand that your internal table has these two columns. Or you can say you are using structure type anyway single record is going. So SAP understand that you want to go for employee ID and employee name. When you use table type, yes, you are ultimately telling SAP that this is the structure, this is the corresponding structure you are using. Now here, you are going for inline declaration, you are using hash. So SAP will not understand that what, what is the structure of your internal table. So the only, only thing is declare the internal table explicitly. Just tell SAP that this is your structure of the internal table. And it is most easy way, most easy. Thus, the only thing is we need to declare the internal table explicitly. Suppose, firstly, I will show you the error. So that you can understand. I am going for syntax check. You can see no type can be derived form the context for the parameter value. It is not able to recognize any type at all. Type means you are passing data to internal table. So what is the type of that internal table? So we will simply, simply declare the internal table. 
most most easy way. So I will declare a structure and I will declare the internal table. So now I will write data, internal table, type table of structure. Now I will simply remove this inline declaration. If I will check the syntax, everything is perfectly fine and everyone is preferring this way. Just see, previously you used append statement so many times to insert that data. Now people, what they will do? They will declare structure type internal table, they will write internal table, value hash, and they will insert any number of records and just see how effective our code is. This is most preferable way, but many times you will see structure type or table type also, but this is the most, most preferred way. And have you seen, we have not declared any work area, nothing. We just simply, simply appended the three records to internal table. Can we display these three records? loop at internal table into work area. I will go for inline declaration. This is our inline declaration and I will go for write statement. LWA data, employee ID, LWA data employee name. I will check the syntax. And now I will activate. We'll see in that debugging mode. I'll put a breakpoint. I will run. I will go to desktop 3, most preferable desktop. So this is our internal table, which has zero records and two column. Whenever I will execute this, you can see we have three records into this internal table and we are displaying these three records. Most preferred way, many times people will always, always prefer this because this is easy also. The only thing is whenever you are using hash, you need to make SAP understand that this is your type, this is your type or you can say, this is your type of the internal table. Your internal table has these columns. So you need to explicitly declare the internal table. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, I showed you how you can use value operator or value expression or value keyword with hash to insert the data to the internal table. So we used value hash, we inserted three records. Firstly, we did the inline data declaration, but system will not understand because whenever you are using hash, system will not understand the type. Previously, we use the structure type and table type. So system understand the type, but now system will not understand that type. So what we did, we declared the internal table itself. Now system understand that these values will go to this internal table and this is the structure of this internal table. So we inserted the data and we displayed the records. Now what are the three to four important points from the interview perspective in terms of value expression? First thing. If interviewer is asking, you can use value expression or value operator or value keyword with structure type. Yes, you can use. Can you go for table type? Yes. Can you go for hash? Yes. Now just tell me what are the differences. If you are using value keyword with structure type, it means you can only go for single record because that will treat as a work area. Second most important point, if you are using value keyword with table type, then you can go for insertion of multiple records to the internal table. But at that point of time, you need to use with 
empty key if it is a standard internal table. Second important point. Third, if they will ask, you are using hash keyword. You are using hash with value keyword. At that time, will inline data declaration work for the internal table? Answer is no. Because in that case, SAP will not understand the type. So we need to go for explicit data declaration and we can use that internal table and just see how effective this code is. Previously, one by one, you are passing the report to the work area. You are appending to internal table. Now we are not even declaring the work area. We are just using value hash. We inserted the records and we displayed the report. So this is all about value expression, value operator, or value. So that's it in this video. Thank you.